The biggest aha moment would be the energy in the room. Everyone was having fun, everybody was uh, engaged, interested in what they were doing. You didn't even realize that you were integrating both movement through dance and arts and math was involved in science and uh, we were involved in integrating all these subjects in one exercise which was uh, really fascinating and uh, a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the aspects that we had with science and seeing the different math that went into it and doing dance moves that included science and math and all these different technologies. And you don't even realize that you're integrating everything all at once, but you are creating that first little catalyst of um, questioning, like how is it snowing on me inside? And why am I like acting like an elephant and doing my dance moves and getting my body moving, but also learning at the same time and having fun with it. And I think that's a major part of education these days is having fun and learning through those experiences that you'll remember down the road rather than just doing a whole page of math questions, one plus one equals two. It's more, it's more about learning it as you go. I mean, my biggest aha moment would probably be sort of realizing what kind of potentials we can reach with technology now, now that we've like turned to take the time to sort of learn how we can be integrate it into our learning and education. So we're sort of seeing how the creation of like different elements in the weather and stuff can be used to help people experience and see what the different type of climates and kind of changes are like. So I think that's a pretty cool experience. The availability of facilities like these kind of opens our eyes to see that the opportunities to uh, to integrate various topics together is out. Uh, those opportunities are here, they're out there. We just got to find them. And uh, this was a great eye, eye opener for us. Yeah. I didn't expect to be able to go from minus, what was it, minus 30 to plus 60 with 250 kilometers an hour winds. So there's a lot of opportunities just in this facility alone. So uh, who knows with all the other stuff around us too. I guess the biggest thing I've seen for integrated teaching, which I don't think was new to me, but just seeing everyone around having a great time and engaged and having fun. Um, just seeing like uh, everyone rubbing off on each other um, when one person was you know getting a little tired or winded the other person's energy was bringing them right up so I think that's just the power of integration just energy. So I think the biggest takeaway for me was just to see dance and activity happen in a very informal learning space so we often think of movement in an education setting has to have, take place in the gymnasium or in the in a classroom or a drama room or something of that sort, but to see movement happen and them actually experience a physical activity piece in a wind tunnel, that was an aha moment for me. I've never, I've led thousands of sessions to age, all ages of students and teachers and teacher candidates and I've never experienced anything like that for me. So dealing with the weather and the amount of people in the room and the wind, it was just, it was a really neat uh, integrated experience that I'll never forget really.